All I can say is that, is that the, the fake, fake news just doesn't, doesn't get it, do they? They don't So I'm not sure if I should ignore the racism of MSNBC or highlight it, but tonight I am gonna highlight it because it's affecting the country. Nobody really watches this show, but it's having an impact at the same time, the way our government operates. So it affects basically America. Here it is. Let me let me ask you this question. Do you think it was a mistake looking back? Because, you know, the the the, the infrastructure bill um, that was passed was cleaved apart from what's now being called Build Back Better. And in a sense, it's a bill that's like a white guy employment act, right? There's going to be a lot of working class men that are going to get employed by that bill. But that's the very cohort that is much more likely to reward Republicans for that. That's who they vote for. Most, you know, working class white guys vote Republican. Wow. We don't want those working class white guys to get jobs. Working class. No, 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 no. We want to. This is all politics. We want to score political. But this is a horrible, corrupt, vile way to look at the world. By the way, I want everybody to have a job. I want all working class people to have jobs, upper class, middle, lower, no matter what their race. But this is horrific. Now, it's not just some idiot on television spouting out hate. This kind of nonsense. They're worried about her. The government, Pete Buttigieg, wants to appease her, and not just Pete, the Attorney General of the United States, because what he's about to say, it's a fantasy. It doesn't exist. We are wasting our time pursuing phantoms. In the FBI's view, the top domestic violent extremist threat comes from racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists, specifically those who advocated for the superiority of the white race. That is a lie. That is not true. They can fudge the numbers. They can play all kinds of games. They can go back. It's not true. And just last Saturday night, we faced a terrorist attack in America. An Islamic extremist terrorist whack job took over a synagogue in Texas. And the FBI pretended initially that this had nothing to do with terrorism, that this wasn't uh, about Jewish people. When he said on the phone, everybody knew it, that this was about Jewish people and anti-American and he wants to bring more jihad to America. How about Waukesha, Wisconsin? Have you heard about that like uh, since Christmas? This guy, Darrell Wilson, is the suspect in a horrible slaughter. He took that car, allegedly is him behind the wheel, Throughout Christmas Day Parade, this is shortly after the Rittenhouse uh, not guilty verdict. Looks like he was mad and he wanted to kill white people, and he did. Six of them, including a young child. But we're going to pretend that this did not happen. We're going to look the other way because it does not fit a narrative. It doesn't comport with what the attorney general was talking about. This is not white supremacy. Just like that horrible crime in Los Angeles, a 24 year old white girl, yikes, not much, uh, you can't get much lower than that these days being a white woman, can you? Her suspect, career criminal, let's just uh, not make too big a deal out of this, huh? Oh, by the way, there's a, a Los Angeles councilman, city councilman by the name of Paul Koretz. He's a Democrat. And uh, we have to applaud him because he uh, took a radical position. We should not defund the police. He's been saying it for a year and a half at least. We got to support. Uh, we got to support the cops. Here he is saying something. Does this seem controversial to you? If we did what is being asked to do and we defunded the police and in a week they were gone, I think that would be the worst decision the city council has ever made. He said, I think the city would look a little bit like the movie The Purge, which I haven't seen, but apparently, you know, crime and mayhem prevail. What did they do to him when he said this? What did the residents of Los Angeles, some of them do? They went to his house and yelled at him and threw stuff at his house. Take a look. They wanted this guy's resignation because he did not want to defund the cops. Anyway, he was uh, 
very vocal in the aftermath of the killing of uh, Brianna Kupfer and of great assistance, I believe, to the family and to the police department, Councilman Paul Koretz. All right. After the last election, liberty-minded Americans are facing a difficult question. What do we do now? We do have a plan to stop them. This is the only plan that bypasses Biden and Congress to save the republic. Sign the petition at conventionofstates.com.